Hey guys, Beach for Bottom is here. And today I'm showing you guys my... I actually made like a theater. Or some of you guys might call it a cinema. If you like learned British English or you live in Great Britain. Or I'm not sure where else to say it. Maybe Australia. But here it is. It's like a gigantic TV screen. Basically what they actually are. You can watch a movie even though it's not playing right now. This is like the first little segment. But this thing rotates around and displays all four seasons, so I think it looks pretty cool. It's like an actual movie theater. Let's see, let's go up here. Well, yeah, you can see I designed the seating pretty nicely. There's entrances on both sides, like most movie theaters have. So let's go up here. And here's the buttons to turn on the movie theater, but let's not go there right now. Light controls, slap it for on. Lights on the sides, come on. You can barely see the one over there, but it's there. And when the movie's about to begin, you slap it off. This is like super duper VIP, like owner of the theater seating right here. Or, and obviously the operators, they come in here and turn the lights on and off. This is mainly the operator room though. Turn the TV on, or the big theater. Big movie screen. Let's call it that. Activate the clock. You do that first. Give it a little time. Alright, now we just... Flip this down, and let's take a seat. You can make this go a lot faster, but I made this go a little slow. See, as you can see, the new clouds coming in. The tree disconnected, there are a few bugs. These the pistons are relatively new, so they are kind of buggy. So some of the rows will kind of glitch out like this. But it should be fine for the most part. Looks like we have a new season coming up. Not sure where the grass is, where the tree is supposed to be. Once again, the pistons are still pretty buggy. But yeah, this, sh this should work out fine most of the time. I did a few test runs. Right now, it's just deciding to be bad. But I don't know, I'll probably put something else up on the screen a little later. And uh, yeah, it's just cycling through everything. Once, like, the 1.8 update comes out, the piston should be a lot less buggy. So this should work a lot better. This is like a proof of concept, proving that it works. And th there are massive amounts of wiring around there. But it's not that hard to make. This takes a lot of space to wire. And, yep, that's basically it. It's supposed to be transitioning into fall and then winter, but I'm not sure what's happening here. Well, let's go over there. Let's see... Yep, let's go over there. Explain basically everything. Fly 3. Yes, it's terrible. The landscape's getting broken up. Sure, if you timed it a little better, it would bug up a little less of the time. But it's still it's still pretty nice. You could make like a bunch of funny colors on there, like make a rainbow. I actually might do that for you guys at the end. Just so like it doesn't really matter what the picture is, like you just make some, some pretty cool artwork on there and make it spin around eventually. And here's the clock, you can use this to adjust the time that it, that they, like, switch. So make it go a little faster. And on these sides, to move these things, I just have a gigantic row of pistons. And if you guys are wondering why the screen was so small, it's that pistons can only push 12 locks. So we had to limit it to that. Or I had to limit it to that, I'm not sure why I said we, but it's what we do. And uh, to activate the pistons, I have a bunch of redstone torches every other block. Because if you put a redstone torch directly across one single piston, and a piston below it, it powers both of them. So it's pretty nice. Just basically duplicated that all around there. Hooked them all up to the same wire. This looks very complicated, but it's not. Just hook them all up. And then time them precisely. Or just so they work. And if you wonder what this is, it makes the current go up vertically. It's pretty nice. So it makes push pistons push. And same thing over here. I just have I have these pistons and the pis pistons diagonal to them going at the same time. And the other two diagonal pistons going at the same time as well. So everything should work out most of the time. But I'm not sure. These pistons do get very buggy. This tree this looks pretty intact. But, yeah, you can put a lot of different stuff on here. Let's make a day so you guys can see a little better. Look through this again. 
And this wire right here, this is the lever. Once the lever is pulled down, this connects the clock to the actual circuitry. It's pretty nice. It's a cow over there, but we won't mind him for now. And this act, this is the little activating the clock. It just gets wired back up to the button. That's what the side wirings are. Let's go over here to these ones. The obsidian is there just in case an accident does happen, so everything doesn't fall apart. So it just keeps on going. And uh, yep, just more right here. I tried to conceal this a little bit more, so these redstone repeaters. So there wasn't gonna be like a big. Let's see if we can get in there. So there wasn't gonna be like a big mass of spiraling redstone down here, so I just used the repeaters. Not sure which one is more effective, but this one is definitely a lot faster to set up. Let's go over to this side, and... Yep, basically same exact design as that one right there. It's time to wee bit differently. And then we have one more right up the side. And it goes into here, it's just a little different than the other ones. But it still is the exact same thing, it just wires them all up. And if you put those torches on the side of the pistons, it works as well. Uh, it just keeps switching them around. And it's, it is pretty cool. So I'll put a different design in there and show you guys that it, it went in action. Like something that's not so, like, need to be in correct order. Wait to some cool colors. Gable okay, had a divine stroke of inspiration and I made some four weird pictures. Tried to make them as colorful as possible using... All these varieties of wool here. My internet shut off, so I guess I have to be Steve for right now instead of my tree man. But this is just to show you that something cool can actually come out of this. Other than watching like stuff in a movie theater if you get everything down timed correctly. And hopefully when the pistons stop being extremely buggy. But let's just see how everything is arranged. Just remember all these pictures and how they look. And let's see how they look after we turn the button on. Okay, clear my inventory, now we're in here. Let's go ahead and activate the clock for movie. Alright. Now let's... Uh, let's watch it. Let's see if it retains its shape, or if it glitches out. No, it's already glitching. Let's watch it move. Alright, it's taking shape quite nicely. Well, actually, let's go back there and make this extremely speedy. I think four might be a little too fast for us, but we're going to do it anyways. Let's see. There we go. Oh, this is speed. Ugh, let's get in here. You can't really tell the difference between day and night in here, so it's, it's just like a real theater. Alright, we're having it. Interesting blend of pictures here. So yeah, I would kind of call this theater. It's not extremely like complicated or anything, if you know what you're doing. But if you don't know what you're doing, it looks completely intimidating. Just don't be intimidated by it. Let's see what else is there? Let's um. Yeah, I'm making this in my piston factory. If you guys on my channel have been paying attention, I said I was like I needed ideas for it. And that's why this is all, like, brick and industrial looking. Yeah, because brick looks extremely cool in this extra pack, not gonna lie. And, yeah, there's a ton of other stuff I'm gonna be making in here, be on the lookout for that. Uh, let's see. Let's try to get 700 likes on this. Like, that's, t I don't know, a little more than a third of my subscribers, I think, at the moment. And that really should not be a problem at all if all you guys watch this when you're logged in or signed in, however you prefer to say it. Yeah, just go ahead and hit the like button. It'll help spread this around. And yeah, once we get 700 likes, I will release the map for download. And I already gave you guys a tutorial, so I don't need to get any likes for that. Just post any questions you have in the comments below. Help spread this map over the internet. Hopefully it gets featured on a few sites like my giant bathroom did on the Minecraft forum. Maybe let's look it on there as well. But yeah, this is pretty cool. It, c it can be used as like a image creator if you need some inspiration. So like some interpretive painting. I'm not even sure how to describe it. But it can get pretty cool. It does have its uses. So again, let's just walk around out here. And once again, it does get quite laggy. 
because of all the moving parts and everything. Yeah, it's basically the entire thing. Let's go up here. Yeah, the off button does work. As you can see there, it stopped moving. Um, then you go up here. Then the lights on. And that has been my gigantic movie theater. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, tell me what I should do next, spread this around, show it to all of your friends, all of your favorite YouTubers out there. And I will see you guys later. See ya.